with the exception of Bill 10, and we don't know what's going to happen there, I, I'm just not sensing anything that's really heavy duty legislation that we absolutely must have. So I think the uh, Conservatives have positioned themselves to be able to get out of Dodge whenever they want. And if they leave anything on the table, nobody's going to die. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's housekeeping, it's pretty thin. I hope the Speaker will be more assertive in this session about calling them to answers, legitimate mm -hmm. answers. That is his role. When they give non-answers, when they deny and hide, they, they need to be called on it. And I'm hoping the Speaker will do more of that. I think we owe Albertans a duty of respect. Uh, we owe that respect throughout the House. We need to be professionals in terms of our relationships and communications. I want to attract people to politics. Uh, I want people to learn from what we say. And if we turn them off, if we violate some basic principles of relationship and respect, we're not going to do that. He does not seem to be willing to take responsibility uh, for where we are. And he does not seem to be willing to take responsibility that this is the government that has continued to keep us on that roller coaster of dependency on the price of uh, per barrel of oil. And then looks at us with doe eyes saying, gee whiz, we have a deficit. It's time for the government to step up and recognize, acknowledge, apologize to Albertans for the financial mess we're in today.